when the opportunity, when you meet the opportunity, there's a lot. So, you know, I always tell the people, uh, we, we all gonna have opportunity. I mean, that's, I'm 100% sure. In, in your career, you're gonna have opportunity. What to make a difference is really who is prepared. And that's what to make a difference. And so it's always good to try to prepare. I know it's difficult because a lot of time is you prepare, you say, gosh, how come? Where's the opportunity? But the best way is just continue to prepare. Opportunity always, always going to come up. So. And then maybe the other one is uh, we did not talk a lot. But usually I talk a lot about 4 year and 1 P. You know why it's so important? Um, in our life, you always have as a lot of pressure. I, I used to be, you know, I know in one of the business, and I used to be give the people my experience when I, when I joined the CK. Um, so in that time, I had to have a really trend how to handle the, the stress, right? Uh, so I used to be along the product development. I don't even know what I mean product development. I Meaning, if you don't call it product, the company has basically that's it, right? And uh, I tell you, in, in the morning, I even afraid to wake up. Because every time when I wake up, I gotta go to work. And in all the day, in that time, the reason, in that time, she gets about 1990, 90, about 2000. So we always uh, voicemail. Customer send you the voicemail, so you can see the light, the red light. Every time when I see the red light, gosh, I tell you, you don't even dare to pick up because usually they will tell you you have problem. So, so it's a, uh, so again, you know, in that time, it's, uh, I was, I was very young, right? I mean, you know, I mean, I was thirty something, and and the, the question is how you how you manage it, right? And then, so let's. But this is not in the communication topic. But this is the, or the other topic that usually I like to share with people, right? Under very stressed condition. By the way, it's always going to be very stressed. It could be from the work, from the family, from a lot of things, right? Um, the, the question is how to handle that. Some people seem to be handled very well. Some people a little bit challenged. But we all can learn, right? And we learn. Well, my, my personal, which I, I, I used to be very nervous. And uh, you can see, you can look at my personality. Which I talk very fast. Because I'm, I'm always very nervous. Right? And I always worry. But then I start to learn. And a lot of people help me. I, I mentioned about, you know, one of the best person was Joe, Joe Wise. He was my VP. And uh, it's American, right? And all these people, like American, it's a very nice bus. Uh, the good thing is, uh, you know, he does, not do, he does not do anything. He, he really just sees the office, right? Very typical American. Uh, so he basically, let me do everything. But every time when I have a problem, go to talk to him. And I still remember that, right? Because I, again, I always do the new product qualification development. And every time when I have a problem, I go to talk to him. Usually when I go to talk to him, usually we have a big problem. You know, product cannot qualify. Like uh, Yixin, you know, if we don't got a revision, we cannot qualify. Your VP comes to talk to you and that. So every time when I go to talk to him, he was my VP. And he's like, uh, didn't he? I mean, he, he looked like a Santa Claus. You know, the white guy. Always smile. Always smile. As soon as I go to, before I enter his office, ah, Steve, good to see you. <laughs> always like that. And I always told him, I said, Joe, Joe, we have, we have problem. Always, oh, oh, don't, don't worry about it. That's the reason we have you, right? But the one thing he teach me was, uh, you know, I mentioned this before, was very good is, uh, and that's why you say, right? He said, I know, and I told him I always worry, right? And he said, I know, Steve. We always, we always think about what we can make a thing better, right? And they say, well, if it is true, then still, in our meeting, we do nothing. But we just sit, sit there and ask everybody, let's worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So he said, the point is, the worry does not make it anything better. It's just somehow psychologically we feel that. But anyway, it's, uh, you know, I'm just sort of talking about in our life, regardless of what we do, work, family, anything, I mean, even including driving, you know, could be, could be very stressful also. Uh, but, but I think there's a way to learn how to deal with that. Uh, it's not easy, don't get me wrong, it's not easy, but there's always the way to do that. And the more you do it, uh, the easier you to, to cope that. Because some people actually cope very well. I, I know when I'm CK, if they know me, I, I'm always very intense, right? Very high energy. So they always worry about, Steve, can you sleep during the night? <laughs> I say, you know, I'm always sleep like a baby. How can you sleep like a baby? <laughs> we have so many problems. I say, yeah, you know, 10 o'clock sleep. 5 o'clock I wake up. And they say, how can you do that? Every day it was just uh. I say, yeah. I say, you know, I was just energetic bunny, you know, in, in the company. But when I go home, I turn off the cellular phone. Uh, just I sleep, I put the, the brighter and I put some ear prod. Sleep. So, but anyway, it's, that's, that's the other one. You know, when we start to go through the career development workshop, I certainly will more than happy to share with you on that. Okay. Uh, sure. So worry, being worried comes from pressure. So yeah. how do you think about pressure? Because you're leading a team. You want to put some pressure on them and, uh, so they can behave and perform. <laughs> so how do you balance? Yeah, you know, I always tell people, right? I always tell people, if you think about how to get better, always need some stress. No, if there's no stress, you will not get stronger. So, so I tell people, you always need to feel stress. If you do not feel stress, then you cannot keep it, keep it. However, we need to manage the stress. If the stress is too big, then there's a problem, right? It rupture your, your muscle. It's the same, it's the same philosophy. You apply the team. Some stress, we will try to make them better. Take stage, stage up. But you gotta make sure because everybody takes stress different. So, so that's the one that I watch very careful to see how much stress they can take. But everybody know you always need to take some stress. Otherwise, we will not get better. But we also need to watch how much stress people can take. The interesting thing is that the more you train yourself, the more you can take. Today, I can take a lot of stress because I was training. Right? Compared to say you know, 20 years ago, when I joined CK. I don't think I can take a lot of stress. I can't sleep. I don't even want, I, to be honest, I did, I did not want to go to work. It's just I have to because I got to make money, right? Uh, but right now, it's a no, I just start to train, train. Uh, you still work, you still dedicated, try to make everything successful, but because your thinking is quite different, right? So again, this one is just like you train muscle. If you always get a little bit stress and always try to push you and they train, 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 train. And then your capacity, you know, handle stress capacity for the company. Should we start there? Or? Okay. So let me just recap very quick, right? For some people, um, I start with a lot. And, and uh, you know, I think it's important to get every grind. I, I, I do it, you know, I think at the point that I, I Try to encourage you. I think you make a very, very good decision to start this career development. Everybody ask me about, you know, this soft skill development, when you should learn that. And usually I tell people, if I can change to redo this again, I wish when I was encouraged, somebody told me. Rather than encourage it, the only thing I thought I got is try to get a PhD. Right. Because what is, what what the soft skill, career defender skill is more important than the degree we got. Then the other you know, I mentioned about four year and one POA. I'm going to just uh, for some some of you you did not got a chance to to see this one. I know Jim did not, and I think Tommy. Okay, but anyway, I think that in, we talking about communication. Uh, so I mentioned about the, the communication number one. Try to manage in the phone and the email. I, uh, truly, and we have some 
So we pass, he sent an email to me, I sent an email to him, always like that. The point I'm trying to make is, especially for, for young generation, they think this communication, right now social media, everybody think about the communication in social media. I tell you, in the corporate or in the business, it's all email. You better go to mention you email very, very quick. And I give you an example about, you know, my engineer asked me about, oh, Steve, does our, our CEO even read the email? I say, what do we say? In 30 minutes. He was shocked. He got a reply from Steve Russo. But again, I knew, I knew that because I watched everything on email. So this means last week I asked about how many email you have. The only reason I ask you this one is you don't want to have more email than you can manage it. Because you do not want to miss some of very important email. Especially the person could be making you become manager, director, VP, or could be your customer. And I, I believe me, right now I have a lot of people say, oh, I didn't see your email. I say, I'm not surprised. Because they just have so many email cards. So, so again, you know, the whole point is in the communication, electronic communication is really trying to help you to communicate, not to become a burden. So if you have your email list, say you have like a, I don't know how, Henry, how many unread email you have in the CK account? Over 1,000. Oh, uh, I see the 20,000. I said, if you have 20,000 unread, why you need an email? 20,000, because in CK every time when they make a presentation, I can see how many email they, they I say, you have 20,000? See who you probably what? 10,000? Closer. 10,000 email. Didn't read it. And I said, why you need it? And then by the way, he has like a three, four personal account. But, but again, you can go check my email. I read it. I delete it. Oh, but anyway, I, I, you know, the, the, the message is to try to develop your method, the system to manage that. And you gotta go to do that. Uh, presentation, we're gonna be, the last week we're gonna talk about presentation. Uh, share with you how to make a presentation. Uh, we mentioned about, today we're going to talk about how you're going to talk to your boss or talk to your customer. And, uh, you know, we also going to give, today, before we're talking about this one, last week we're talking about how you communicate with your team. For example, if you lead a team. You could be engineer, you could be manager, you could be director, you could be VP. Uh, you could be leader of the team for project, you could be leader the people, right? And then, how you make a communication. So, I know you all got homework. We ask you for a homework. So we're gonna ask the, you know, three minutes communication. Uh, who want to be volunteer, the first one to do it? Okay, see, okay, we, it's okay we take a video? Okay, good.